The 1936 National Championship model airplane meet gets underway with all the thrills of real flying. 300 model airplane builders from all parts of the United States, Canada, France, and England, with models of just about every type of plane built anywhere in the world. A real gasoline engine. Only one cylinder, however, but it has a real spark plug, and it sparks just like the big ones. It has to for a perfect takeoff like this. Look out below. Not all the glory goes to the boys. This member of the fair sex built the entire plane herself. Here's the most exciting of all events, the endurance flight with the hardest of all takeoffs, rising from the ground. Time is clocked on each entry. A plane must keep within sight of the judges to remain in the contest. And after 30 to 40 minutes in the air, not many come back for a perfect landing like this. Uh-oh, almost too late. The family car seems to have been converted into an airplane carrier. The boxes in the luggage compartment back of the rear seat aren't shoes or lunch, just the spare parts and repair department in case of a bad crash. Got to weigh in first to figure out the fuel supply. A half ounce of gasoline for every pound of plane. Four drops less than a teaspoonful. At that rate, he gets about 412 miles to the gallon. There's a simple adjustment on the motor to fit the grade of gasoline, just like the octane selector on Dad's car. And now, after all this excitement, it looks like our little entry got off the course. At times like this, a contestant begins to believe his plane goes a bit too far. But all's well that ends well. Little Willie, Sammy, Johnny, Henry, Cuthbert, or whatever his name is, gets back his putt-putter all safe and sound.